relationships, recognition, active involvement, opportunities. These are some of the key words that shape Pierce County's Developmental Disabilities Program. The Community Inclusion Program, or CIP, is one example of those priorities at work. We strive for inclusion in all of our services, but one of the most critical periods is when school-aged children make the transition to employment. So we start early, working with school districts and parents to smooth the rough spots. And the Community Inclusion Program occurs in three geographical areas in Pierce County, and each has a leadership team made up of parents, school district, uh, developmental disabilities case manager. I think it's an opportunity for people to come together and learn about community resources. It also gives uh, children a chance to make friends and those friendships carry out in their schools and their communities. I like to come because it's where I make my best friends and it's where my strongest relationships are. Well, for everybody, I think it just gives them a sense of belonging and a sense of relationships and friendships. That's kind of Kyle's circle of support or his network of support. We'll go out bowling and go out to movies and I'll call all my friends like of all abilities and then we'll adapt whatever we're doing to fit them. It's nice to have a friend that calls him up and says, hey, Kyle was thinking about you. We'll have like sleepovers and just try to do all the activities that regular kids do. Seeing how much he's cared about by his friends, it gives me hope that I'm not going to be alone, being the only person, wondering how he's doing. That's always been one of my biggest fears, is having to deal with um, having a sibling with disabilities alone. I have a brother who has Down syndrome, so it's a really great place to come and make sure that everyone's included. Knowing that there are other people out there, people that you can turn to that understand what you're going through and they can help you. I see it as another family outside of my family. He just has a sense of belonging. He truly is a part of something. And oftentimes he doesn't. He's, he's left out. It's fun to meet, meeting new people. And I have a lot of friends in here and stuff like that. It's just a lot of fun. And sometimes I think they're all just having fun and I think they should be working or doing something, but they actually are. Helping kids out and helping people with disabilities, it's just the whole thing is like a highlight. The feeling of acceptance is really cool because this is the only place where you can come and not have to worry about, you know, being someone else. I'm able to let down and just be there and not always have that one eye on Josh. He can be off doing something else. For that to be able to come a safe place to be for me as a parent um, is really big because it just doesn't happen everywhere. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kyle. That's a good one. We'll put a picture of that in there for Dad, okay? For those coping with disabilities, the value of the Community Inclusion Program is beyond measure. I like CIP because it teaches me that I'm not the only one that, that has a disability. My goal has always been how to get people with disabilities and their families more involved in their community in a safe environment. It teaches me to step out of my comfort zone. Especially for autism, they don't know how to uh, express their feelings or be able to play with others. So this teaches them to communicate and to be with others and to get along with other people. I like when we break out in groups and do activities. That way each and one of us can have our own space away from our parents. Because <laughs> I ditch my mom sometimes. <laughs> you know, to let her have her space. What I'm hoping is, as Kyle goes out in the community, the grocery store, or just everyday life, ordinary life, you know, 
that people will see him and recognize him and that he would become a part of the community. Inclusion benefits not just kids with disabilities and their families, but all involved. Youth with disabilities learn how to be socially appropriate. The youth that come that don't have disabilities learn how they can be neighbors. The initial core group of kids come to help us out. It was a natural progression of friendship. And as the friendships developed, it started snowballing. I first got involved with it because I needed community service hours. Maybe they're coming to be caretakers. And I think what they find out is that they become friends. They get to know who the people really are. You can tell by the look on people's face when they see the child for the first time and not the label of the disability because their face just lights up. After I got involved with it, I realized it's more than that. That's where all of a sudden the magic takes place. I don't see the label of Down syndrome. I really see this kid. I don't really come here anymore for the community service hours. It's more like a family. You really get to know and care about the people who come here. They also learn about the person's disability and learn about how they can support them. Understanding what the self-advocate, what they have to say about their own condition and teaching the people around them what that is and what works for them. It also encourages uh, students with and without disabilities to become leaders and to become more involved in their community. Seeing all the kids with special needs make friendships in the community and showing other people about them and teaching them how to interact with kids with special needs so all whole community will be equally involved. One of the most valuable aspects of the community inclusion program is what it provides for parents. The most valuable resource I had as a parent was talking to other parents who had kids with disabilities. When you can get with people and talk stories, all of a sudden you find different ways to problem solve. Automatically that happens. You just develop a feeling of being safe, of trust. I didn't have to explain my child's condition to them. They could just look at me and understand. Sometimes it's coming across parents that are just really frustrated and they just want to give up. So to be able to talk to someone and just let them vent for a minute and then say, okay, now what do we have here that can be helpful and how do we put that back together? And then to kind of get recharged and to find that sense of humor again and come back in there and say, okay, let's come at it at a different angle. Networking is very, very important. I think I was very shy until Kyle came along and I realized I can't be. <laughs> I needed to be able to um, go and ask questions because that would be being a good parent to him. Though this program is focused on teenagers and young adults, the impact lasts a lifetime. It's the most valuable life skill I can teach Kyle is how to get along with other people. The program will allow that, that inclusive, natural support, having people see what he can do, giving him that chance to to prove himself. If Kyle doesn't have an opportunity to be around other people, he won't be able to go to work and feel comfortable, and other people won't feel comfortable with him. So by having safe places that he can learn, get along with people, he'll be able to work because he'll be able to work right alongside other people. He'll be able to go shopping. He'll be able to be a community member. It's not hard to get to know someone with disabilities. It's not hard to get along with them. They're not someone to be afraid of because you can't understand them. Because you can understand them if you really try. The first time I got invited I was a little nervous because I didn't know anyone. But after the other few times I felt really comfortable because I got to know all these great people. It hits me personally because I have a brother with disabilities. This group is there to reinforce that inside of me, to know that he is unique, he is a person to get to know, to get to love. It's what you dreamed for your child, that he's going to be a part of sleepovers, included in the leadership part of it. And it's just wonderful. I mean, they touch my heart. Just watching them today present, watching them grow from when they first came, maybe a little bit afraid to step out, and then watching them now taking the lead, oh, it's just, it just gives us such hope. Yeah, it's you and me.